Mount Pleasant Lane is a good score that is moving towards outstanding. Target setting has been key in improving standards, from setting the overall school vision to looking at individual pupil targets. The targets that um, the governor set for the senior leadership team for, uh, of the school um, really is from an overview, from a, from a strategic point of view. We are looking at raising the whole quality of the school, so we use the data to find out where we, where we need to, um, you know, which areas aren't matching all those other areas. So the targets we set are about the, the, the whole school um, and making sure the whole school is reaching its, its standards. Um, the senior leadership team then use those requirements and, and the disparities that are there to set the individual pupil, um, pupil targets. Within our tracking system, we have a, re a report that shows uh, a whole cohort. This actual cohort is a year four cohort and is actually produced data from year one all the way through to year four. It's very, very clear in terms of the actual colours it produces to show us where the children are at this moment in time. Um, the green is identifying children who are making excellent progress. The white actually makes, uh, is actually showing the children who are on progress for their target and the actual pink colour shows the children who are falling behind their targets and they are the children we identify in our progress meeting. Throughout the year we monitor the children's progress by um, termly assessments and from that we look at the children who perhaps are not making the expected amount of progress because on the target tracker sheet we can see at a glance the children that are coming up pink are the children not making the progress for age related or even for their end of year target. So those ones might specifically be targeted on pupil progress um, sheets where you're targeting extra support from them. Pupils have their own targets too. Well the teachers give us a worksheet and um, it's usually got a chart on it and it will say our targets and the starting date and when we've achieved them, how well we're doing. I prefer with the targets actually because um, it gives me something to work at and it doesn't like let my mind wander. I want, like, I want to achieve it. You focus more. Yeah, I focus yeah. more it keeps on, you on that, that target So, because like, you want to get it. Making sure pupils stay on track is one thing, but what about the bigger picture? There's three meetings a year uh, with the school improvement partner. The first is the target setting where she comes and helps us set our targets for the year. The second is the joint annual review or JAV. Um, she comes in and helps us drill right down into the data and, and, and points out areas that, that we need to look at. Um, and the final is the progress review where we look at the, the progress throughout the year, progress through to our, from our targets that we've set. We focused on raising the enjoyment level of maths to be able to let the children engage with it in a much, uh, much more enjoyable fashion. The v reasoning behind that is if they enjoy it, they'll feel confident. If they're confident, they'll then achieve. Well, we're doing a maths lesson about percentages, but to make it fun, we're, doing, we're making um, a restaurant out of it, and we're, doing, we're making some people waiters that have to do a lot of work by running about, and some people are being customers that get a menu, they have to pick what they would like. The maths initiative that we've been working on this year has had a massive impact upon children's progress, I feel, because it's making the teachers, especially with the younger ones, thinking more along the lines of involving them in more practical activities, which has had a positive impact upon their learning and therefore their progress. Target setting is, has been a very, what well, I would say, a paramount um, aspect towards actually moving the school forward. We are a school that uh, over the last seven years as head teacher we've moved um, quite quite far in terms of good um, hopefully moving towards outstanding uh, as a school um, and that's what I hope for the future.